Even to this day, there is still confusion on who the new Batman is and what happened to Bruce Wayne after the events of Arkham Knight. I'm here to try and clear a few things up. We need to skip back to the cutscene after the regular boss fight, which is the only boss fight in the game, where Batman says, No one will. Gotham needs something more, something worse to defend her. She needs a new myth. A legend more powerful than I can be right now. A legend that can only rise from the ashes of the Batman. Now this can mean one of two things. The first is that Bruce has something planned for Batman. And two, Bruce is bat shit crazy. <laughs> no, no, okay. Now the only thing that confuses me is why he only tells this to Selina, but not Tim, Babs, or Dick. This little piece of dialogue leads me to believe that Bruce faked his death and is the new Batman. Not Jason Todd, not Azrael, and not Alfred. God, I swear, if I see one more theory that Alfred is the new Batman. Speaking of Alfred, you really think Bruce would just kill Alfred like that? Really? Without a goodbye or I love you? Bruce wouldn't allow Alfred to die like that. Ever. And my final point? Joker. During the credits of the game, the music is interrupted by Joker singing. And so I'm if Bruce really is dead, there's no way Joker would be able to sing a song. Any song. Only you, I'm still laughing, and that is why I think Bruce Wayne is Batman. The new Batman. The Nightmare Batman. Bruce Wayne is too arrogant and stubborn to die, he even says that in the animated series of Batman Beyond. Bruce Wayne wouldn't just flat out die and just let Batman die with him. Bruce Wayne is smarter than that. Batman is smarter than that. And that is the true ending of Arkham Knight. Roll credits!